While you were sleeping, a disturbing video came to light. So over the last, uh, over four days, three, three or four days ago, a video was released of Cassie and Diddy and Cassie was of course being assaulted in this video. Now, I find it terrifying that Cassie had to live in that kind of life. And yet when I saw the video, it was just terrifying that she had to live that way, but also terrifying that someone could lose their humanity so much that they would do this to another person. That's just, it's disturbing to me that you could let yourself get this far away from from, I don't know, how you should be as a human to this where you're just literally be kicking someone while they're down. It's insanity to me. But also what I find concerning is some people's responses. There are some people who are saying, why didn't she leave? Why didn't she leave sooner? What, I mean, even before the video came out, there are people who were talking about, well, she stayed with him for so long, so she must also have been involved. All of these things that were coming out against Cassie and not enough things being said about the monster who was doing all of these, who, who was accused of actually being an abuser. I just think that that is concerning. And I think that not all thoughts need to be put out to the public. Sometimes it's important for you to take a moment, take a step back, even if you don't have the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes, maybe do some research and see how these situations normally play out. A lot of these people, they would like to leave. In that video, she was literally at the elevators trying to get out of there. I even saw some comments where they were saying, why didn't she take the stairs? Have you, listen, <laughs> to me, that would be more concerning because there may not be cameras in the stairwell. And then if someone pushes you down several flights of stairs, the injuries for that are going to be horrible to recover from. So again, not all thoughts need to be put out into the public, okay? Sometimes it's important to take a step back to realize that not everybody, one, not everybody is going to respond how I would respond. Not everyone has the support that I have. Not everyone that has the family that I have, because some people, you know, you might think, oh, my family would come to my rescue, or I'd be able to go run to them, or everyone does not have the life that you have or the mindset that you have. Everyone does not have the resources. And even if they had all those things, the circumstances are their own circumstances. There are things that must be considered. Some people cannot just leave their abusers because their abusers will follow them where they're going. And um, you can't you can't recess you can't recover from not being alive, if that makes sense. If you are unalive, you are not gonna recover from that. So the idea is to get away and also have a life after. But I'm not gonna go too deep into that. What's interesting also about this is that Diddy in the beginning was like, no, that none of that happened. Don't worry about it. We, you know, we will fight these in court, these allegations in court, but none of them are true. They're coming against my good name and my family's name. All of these things were said. And then we see today that there has been an apology release. Now I'm gonna play, I'm gonna go ahead and play their apology for y'all, some parts. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. And I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. I'm going to rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Sorry. But the parts of the um, apology that I found interesting is that it does seem like he is definitely taking accountability. He said he's not looking for an, uh, forgiveness, which is good because I don't think people, one, it's not for us to forgive him, but that's good that he is, it sounds like he's in a realistic place. It's also possible that this was written for him so that he can seem like he's in a realistic place. It's neither here nor there. At this point, I'm hoping that people will do what they need to do and pull the support that they need to pull from him because obviously he needs to do some growing and some some other things to get himself together. It sounds like he said he's going to rehab and he's getting therapy. Good for him. I do think it's, I, I think that all I can say is that it's good that at least he's now taking accountability. It is what it is. 
What I also wanted to comment on is that, you know, regardless of what you call it, some people call it reaping and sowing, some people call it karma, but either way, whatever you plant is going to grow. You cannot plant an apple tree and then expect an orange tree. It's just, that's just not how it works out. Um, it, it, you, whatever you put out there, if you planted hate, hatred, evil, all these things, they are going to grow. And not only are they gonna grow, they're growing in your lawn. You are going to have to eat off of these things, eat off the fruit of your land that you have produced. And while it can take a while to grow, an apple tree doesn't spring up overnight. Nothing springs up overnight. Everything takes its time and in its season, it brings forth the fruit. And I think a lot of people, they get confused or lost because they're thinking, oh, nothing has happened to me. I've done all these things and nothing's happened to me no bad has come to me i'm gonna be able to keep doing them but no it's just that it is not your season yet to reap that harvest so keep that in mind when you're sowing seeds everything is a seed everything <laughs> grows eventually um and i'm here interested to hear your thoughts about this whole situation it's quite unfortunate but just uh feel free to comment down below and thanks for watching your daily program is now complete. It's time to wake up now.